just taking a comfortable seated position, preferably probably in just like a cross-legged position or any other um, position that feels available to you today. And then just lengthen the spine and begin to shift the breath low into the belly. Maybe placing one hand over the navel center, if that feels good to you. And just kind of feel a little bit of grounding as you do that breathing by breathing into that belly hand, allowing the belly to expand as you inhale. And as you exhale, slowly drawing the navel into the spine. We just had mentioned if you have a block, great. You can take a seat on your block. If you have a rolled towel, just something to kind of lift the hips up a little bit more or lift the pelvis up, that works too. So inhaling and exhaling into the belly hand. Let's take about six deep breaths. Nice, long and slow breaths into the belly. Just using your inhale to draw in something that you're in need of this afternoon. And then using your exhale to let go of something that isn't serving you well today. So really try to label those things. Drawing in something that you need, letting go of something that you can do without. And just continuing to breathe in that way as you're breathing, you can go ahead and set an intention for your practice today. So is this just something that you would like to focus on? Something that maybe um, feels available to you? And then as you continue to breathe deeply, you can keep your eyes open or closed. We'll just start to lengthen the neck. So go ahead and drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. Keep your hands down on the mat or anchoring through the shoulders. And then allow the chin to drop down to the chest, pausing briefly there, feeling some length into the back of the neck. And right ear, right shoulder. Slowly let your chin drop down. Left ear, left shoulder. We'll pause here. Just kind of extend out through the fingertips on your right hand. And go ahead and tip the chin down or up. Changing the stretch that you feel on the side of the neck. And then chin back down to the chest, slowly making the way over right ear, right shoulder, this time extending out through the left fingertips, and then dropping your chin down or up, whatever feels best for your neck today. And when you feel ready, slowly move your head back to a neutral position. Take your hands, tent them, kind of tenting the fingertips. Walk your hands back behind you. Open through the chest and shoulders and lift the chin up. A couple of nice deep breaths into that front body, into the heart center. And then as you exhale, come back to center. Walk your hands more forward. Allow the spine to round into your chest, lengthening out the back body. couple of nice deep breaths here, breathing into the low part of your back, and then walking your hands back up to center, neutral spine position, breathe in, raise the arms up over the head, as you exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale, reaching upward, lengthening, exhale, hands to heart. Good, this time inhale, raise both arms up towards the sky, 
Let your left arm drop down, reach your right arm up and over. So side stretch here. If you have more flexibility into the side body, you could even come down to your forearm. Otherwise, just onto the palm. And maybe rotate out that wrist. You could also kind of drop your chest down towards the floor if that feels better for you. So just kind of feel what your body needs in the torso today. When you're ready, draw the trunk back up to center. Both arms raise up towards the sky. Exhale the right arm down and then reach the left arm up and over. And then just like you did on that first side, you, you might circle out the wrist. You might kind of rotate your chest down towards the floor. So just kind of do what feels good, kind of getting into the side body, is getting into the low back. Finding some length in the sides. And then when you're ready, slowly coming back up to center, raise both arms all the way up on an exhale, draw the chest open, elbows towards the side bodies. So think about the shoulder blades gliding together and down your back. On an inhale, raise the arms up. As you exhale, forward fold. Walk your hands a little bit more forward. And then go ahead and move both hands over to the right side. Once again, inviting that side stretch there. And then walking your hands back through the center, coming over to the second side. And walking back through the center, pausing here, softening the back of the neck, breathing deeply into the low belly. And then inhale the trunk back up, taking your time. If you are sitting on a block or a towel, go ahead and just scoot that off to the side. And then we'll take the legs out in front of us. And just kind of point and flex the feet a few times getting some blood flow to the ankles and the feet. And then we'll come into staff pose. So hands will be underneath the shoulders, press into the hands, lift the chest up, and then pull the toes back towards you. So you find that activation in the legs, almost like you're pressing into your hands to slightly lift your butt up off the mat sending those knee creases towards the floor, maybe feeling a stretch in the forearms here. And then as you exhale, keep your trunk up long. We'll take the right leg and step it in and over the left leg. So you're gonna hug that knee across your body and then take a twist to the right. So direction is chest moving towards the right wall. And that right hand will come back behind you, just thinking about keeping the right side of the chest open. As you exhale, slowly release and take a counter twist to the left. This time bringing your left hand back. And then slowly releasing back to center. Send both legs out long again, sit tall. Exhale to step the left foot in and over, hugging your left knee across the body, and then taking a twist to the left. So when we're doing our rotation, our spine twist, we're thinking about inhaling to lengthen the spine. So pelvis is down towards the floor, top of the head lifts up. As we exhale, we'll think about rotating further, even if we don't have that available to us. As you exhale, release and find that counter twist. So now twisting back to the right. And then slowly coming back to center. Send both legs out long. Take a nice deep breath in, shoulders over the hips. And then as you exhale, Forward fold as much as you feel comfortable to kind of lengthen the back of the thighs and the low back. So you might not have a whole lot of motion there depending on your hamstring flexibility and that's fine. So you're just kind of doing what feels good for your body. 
And then our counter pose, we're going to come back through stack pose. So hands are going to set underneath the shoulders, and we're going to make our way into upward plank. So on an inhale, you can lift your hips up. Lift your, lift your gaze towards the ceiling with the knees straight. If that's too challenging, you might step your feet in and come up that way with knees bent. So this is a good stretch across the front of the shoulders, the front of the upper arm, finding some activation in the back of the legs. Good, and then as you exhale, slowly release down. Taking your time, make your way over into hands and knees. And then when you feel ready, just start to cycle through cat and cow. So when you move into cat and cow, I want you to really try to think about uh, following your breath. So as you inhale, you'll drop the pelvis down. As you exhale, you'll round the back, coming into cat. And then just begin to flow with your breath. Inhaling to cow and exhaling to cat. We'll take a few more cycles at your own pace. And as you're cycling through cat and cow, uh, think about really just making those poses your own. So if you need to shift your hips from one direction to the other, if you need to um, rock back and forth or come more into up dog or cobra or extended child's pose, all of those things are perfectly acceptable. So just go ahead and start to come into your body a little bit. And making note of any areas where you feel tight or restricted, because we want to pay attention to those areas as we move about the practice today. So just being mindful of what works for your body today. And then when you feel ready, I invite you to walk your hands a little bit more forward, tuck your toes under, and make your way into Downward Facing Dog. And then once you're in your Down Dog, go ahead and start to paddle out the feet. Kind of alternate, dropping a knee into the center. Another thing that might feel good is on an inhale, floating both heels. As you exhale, allowing the heels to sink towards the earth. So just creating some length in the entire body, especially the lower legs. And then when you feel ready, go ahead and shift your shoulders over your hands and come into plank pose. And just kind of let yourself be in your body here. So thinking about our alignment of our trunk, top of the head is forward, energy is coming out our heels, navel draws into the spine, and then set your knees down on the mat, lower halfway to chaturanga and just pause here. So elbows are tucked in at your side, navel to the spine, and then release all the way to your tummy. Take your arms down at your sides and inhale to locust pose. So float the legs, float, float the arms, shoulder blades glide in and down. Fingertips reach back for the heels. Breathing in and out. Feeling some activation in the back body. Hands go to the mat. 
downward facing dog. Good. One more time. Inhale, plank. Be in your body. Notice what you feel, that activation around the midsection. Set your knees down, chaturanga, pause. To your tummy, inhale, locust, arms down at your sides. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, as you feel ready, take a walk up towards your hands and then just take a generous forward bend at the top of your mat, hugging opposite elbows here. Just kind of swaying the upper body from side to side. Letting the back of your neck relax. Softening the knees as much as you need to, to kind of allow your chest to come down to your thighs. And then on an inhale, come to a halfway lift. And let's bring the arms out to the side. So kind of T-shaping the arms. Think about pulling your elbows towards the ceiling, gliding the shoulder blades together. And then as you exhale, generous fold, let your back round. Again, inhale, fly the arms out to the side, shoulder blades pull together, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Press into your feet. Come all the way up, taking your time. Raise your arms up over your head. And then exhale, hands to heart. Good. Feet can either be a few inches apart or you can bring them to touch, whatever feels best for you today. Come into standing mountain pose, broadening across the collarbones, drawing the navel in. On an inhale, raise your arms up. Try floating your heels. As you float your heels, pull your navel into the spine. Reach through your fingertips, but let the tops of your shoulders relax. Good. As you exhale, release the heels, ride the breath all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, arms out to the sides. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, float the heels. Pausing here, exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, raise the arms, raise the heels. Pause. Couple of breaths in and out, feeling the activation around the ankles and the feet. Exhale, release the heels, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Arms out to that T-shape, elbows high. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, press into the feet. Come all the way up, float your heels. Exhale, hands to heart, heels down. Good, moving on, high lunge salutation. Inhale, sweep the arms up, take a little back bend. Exhale, Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, left foot steps back, high lunge, rise. Soft tops of the shoulders. Exhale, hands to the mat, plank. Breathe in. Exhale, lower all the way to your tummy. Inhale, locust. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, looking forward. Step your right foot through. Rise, high lunge. If that's the wrong side, switch. Switch sides, opposite lunge. Good, breathe. Exhale, hands to the mat, step forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, one more time. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, 
forward fold. Inhale, lat back. Exhale, plant your hands, left leg steps back, high lunge. Rise. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back to plank, breathe in. Exhale, all the way to your tummy. Inhale, locust. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in. Exhale, step the left foot through. Rise, high lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat, step forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Go ahead and release your hands to your hips. Take your left foot, step it back. So you have about two to three feet between your front and your back foot. We're going to prep for pyramid pose. So I invite you to just turn your left toes slightly out to the side. Find a long spine. So think about head over the pelvis. Lengthen spine, breathing in. On an exhale, you're going to keep a micro bend in both knees, but hinge at your hip crease. And then when you can't go any further, let your, your hands soften to your thigh or your lower leg. Pause and breathe. And start to send some breath into the back of the thighs here. towards the right wall. If you want a little bit more of a balance challenge, kind of in the absence of a block, if you don't have one, you can try shifting your weight onto that front leg and floating the back foot up. Revolves half moon. If you do lift that back foot up, think about flexing it. So toes point towards the floor, still trying to rotate your chest towards the right wall. Good, giant step back with the lifted leg, warrior two. Knee over the ankle on that front leg. Good, look over that right hand. Soft tops of the shoulders. Good, we'll explore eagle arms here. So let's take the right arm and cross it over the left. And then keeping your arms at shoulder height, Bend the elbows to bring the backs of the hands or the palms to touch. And then let your chin drop down to your chest. Feel a stretch into that middle part of your back. Couple of breaths here, keeping those warrior two legs. Not allowing that front knee to buckle inward. Good, slowly uncross your arms. Bring them all the way back out. Warrior two, look over the right hand. And then as you exhale, straighten the right knee, turn your right toes in. And we'll prep for our wide leg forward fold here. So keeping your arms at shoulder height, breathe in. And then as you exhale, hinge at your hip creases, turn the toes slightly inward and forward bent. So hands can come to the shins, the thighs, the floor. Relax the back of the neck. We'll just pause here. I'm not going to stay for a super long time, but just kind of feel the back of the legs. Think about maybe even shifting your weight back towards the heels to get a little bit of length, softening the back of the neck. 
So you can have your hands on the floor or your legs. You could also um, hold on to opposite elbows if that feels good. And then we'll go ahead and um, walk our hands over to the left foot. And we're going to turn the left foot towards the back of our space. Step our right foot in and then inhale the trunk all the way back up. So back to our prep for pyramid pose. So we have a slight staggered stance. So you should be facing what was previously the back of your space. Staggered stance, both knees bent. Exhale the hands to your hips. So we're going to do those same few poses on the second side. So take a nice deep breath in, shoulders over your hips. On an exhale, leaning with your heart, hinging at that hip crease. Bringing your hands wherever they fall, where you comfortably feel some lengthening in the back of the legs. So what you might notice is some asymmetries, right? A little difference between right and left. I definitely have a tighter side myself. So just kind of keeping, keeping that in mind and kind of being kind to yourself here. It's not a competition even from right to left, but just feeling some length in the back of the thigh. Well, this time we'll keep the right hand on that left leg wherever it falls. Shift your weight a little bit more onto that front foot and then float the left arm up looking towards the left wall or what is now the left wall, revolve triangle. And then if you do want that additional challenge for a little bit of single leg balance, you'll take the weight off the back leg shifting your weight onto that front foot for revolved half moon. And you can try even spreading your hands, spreading your fingers, nice wide wingspan here, toes on the lifted leg point to the floor, rotating from the low belly. And then when you've had enough big step back with the lifted leg, warrior two, big wingspan, knee over the ankle on that front leg. So sort of allow yourself to settle into Virabhadrasana 2 here, slightly tucking the tailbone under. This time we'll take left and cross over right at the elbows. Keeping those elbows at about shoulder height, bend them, backs of the hands or palms to touch, and then maintain the elbows at about shoulder height. Let your chin drop down slightly and take your breath in between the shoulder blades. So releasing some of that tension around the mid back, maybe even the back of the neck, getting a good stretch across the shoulder blades. Good, as you inhale, slowly unwind, lengthen out, warrior two, gaze over that front hand. Good, and then as you inhale, straighten that front leg or your left leg, turn the left toes to face back towards the mid part of your mat, and then turn your right toes back to that front wall, our original front wall. Step forward and come into mountain pose. So as you come into mountain pose, you can pedal out your feet a little bit, just kind of see how you're doing. We'll do just a little bit of single leg balance one more time. So we'll start with our standing half bow. We're going to let our left hand drop down, bend our left knee and catch the instep of the left foot. The right arm can go forward at shoulder height, turning the palm up. So this might be where you stay. Knee in line with the hip. Pressing the front of that left hip forward. So you're probably going to feel a stretch either through the front of that left hip, the hip flexor, or even into your thigh muscle. If you'd like, coming more into a back bend, kicking the foot out into the hand, dancer pose. Good. Slowly come out of it. Take your lifted leg, cross it all the way over figure four. Eagle prep, settle in to that left leg. So you're standing still on your right leg. Hands can come to heart center, eagle prep. 
So doing this a little bit more standing or single leg balance, but also feeling some stretch through the outer hip and glute area. Tail tucks under, belly is in, let that left knee soften out to the side. And then when you're ready, inhale, stand up nice and tall, mountain pose, pedal out the feet. Good, standing nice and tall again, right arm down at your side, bend the right knee to catch the instep of the right foot. The left arm goes out long at shoulder height, turning the palm up, standing half bow. Knee in line with the hip. You may stay here, you may explore dancer, depending on how you feel. For a dancer, you'll kick that foot into the hand and shift your weight more forward, coming more into an active back bend. And when you're ready, slowly coming out of it, taking that lifted leg, crossing it all the way across the left leg, eagle prep, hands come to heart center. Allow the right knee and hip to soften out to the side. Good, when you're ready, slowly coming out of it, pedaling those feet out. And then go ahead and inhale, raise the arms up, take a little back bend. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time, inhale, raise the arms all the way up, little back bend, exhale, hands to heart. Go ahead and take a seat on your mat, and then we'll come all the way down to our backs, however you would like to transition to your back. Once you're on your back, go ahead and pull both knees into the chest getting a little release through the low back, maybe rocking gently from side to side. And then we'll take one more hip opening pose. So reaching down for the instep of both feet or yogi toe lock, the big toes. Pressing the feet into the hands, happy baby. And then releasing the knees back down, giving yourself a hug, knees to chest. And setting your feet on the mat, taking your arms out to goal post arms. Go ahead and drop the knees to the right and turn your gaze to the left, reclining spine twist variation. If it's available to you, blink your eyes closed. Just start to feel some expansion into the left side body. Go ahead and slowly come back to center, switch sides, knees to the left, gaze to the right. Once again, breathing into the side body and the lower front of your rib cage. Coming back to center, go ahead and extend your legs out long. Reach the arms up over your head and take one more full body stretch here. When you feel ready, make your way into your final Shavasana. Lifting the chest, tucking the shoulder blades underneath you, allowing the palms to face upward, your feet and ankles to relax soften out towards the long edges of your mat. Blinking your eyes closed or lowering your gaze. Take a cleansing breath. Inhaling through the nose. Sigh it out through the mouth. Surrender to your mat, yogis. Let the ground support you. 
Let every last bit of tension release from your face and your body, allowing your mind to be still, your body at rest for a few moments. Taking a moment of gratitude for dedicating this time to your practice, and moving your body in a mindful way. When you feel ready, you can begin to open and close your hands, turn your head from side to side, and then maybe bending one or both knees up. You'll start to gently rock the knees, and then eventually choosing a side to come over onto. Pausing as you curl yourself up there briefly, breathing deeply. When you're ready, make your way up to a comfortable seated position, taking your time as you transition. Once you're in sitting, take a moment to lengthen your spine. We'll take the hands together at heart center. Drop your chin down and take one deep breath into your heart. Yogis, I thank you each for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Keep warm. You too.